Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Things are finally starting to look up for our colony. I think we're gonna get our first permanent colonist, Jay, um, up and going. Jay right now is going through alcohol withdrawal and smoke leaf withdrawal, so Jay's gonna be having a rough time. But once Jay recovers, hopefully he will voluntarily um, join our faction. And if not, we could always imprison Jay and recruit him that way as well. One way or another, we're getting our third colonist. Jay, of course, is going to be a great addition to our colony because Jay is great at growing things. Jay has the potential to be a great shooter. Not yet, but with a uh, major passion in shooting, he'll learn very quickly. Combined with his two smart trait, which makes him learn even quicker, um, Jay will be great. Jay also has decent social skill. Um, not great, but not terrible. Um, so we can use Jay to recruit more colonists to the cause um, as we move forward. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the speed to full speed and um, we are going to get things rolling. Gorilla might be growing up to a uh, to a child sometime soon. I think the child has reached at age 3 and Gorilla is currently age 2 so um, Gorilla will eventually need his own room sooner rather than later so we're going to move Jay into this bedroom up here and have this be our child's bedroom um, in here. Um, for the time being, we're going to leave Jay right here where he is. He's comfortable there already. Um, and it looks like we're having temperature issues. Ooh, and this body is starting to rot. So why don't we have Tronka go ahead and prioritize hauling this guy. I know we built a grave for him, but I was looking at assigning colonists. You can only assign full colonists to the grave, so unfortunately we would not be able to um, put uh, this person into the grave. So unfortunately, we're just going to have to let their body rot out in the open. It is what it is. We wanted to do nicer by this colonist because they were such an integral part of our colony, but oh well. Um, Tronka is getting another harvest of hay grass. I think we'll try to plant one more harvest in before the end of the season. I think on this fertile land, we might just be able to get it grown and harvested before the cold sets in. Um, and then we won't allow sowing after the next batch is planted. As for rice, we're going to continue growing and harvesting new rice as uh, we go on because now we have four mouths to feed with Jay, Gorilla, Tronka, and Minyaka. So we need to store as much food as we can. Speaking of Minyaka, Minyaka is wasting time building armchairs. What I need Minyaka to be doing is to prioritize refueling these passive coolers so that our food won't spoil in the fridge and so that we can sleep without getting heat stroke in the bedroom. There you go. Okay, so our fridge will hopefully be in better shape now. This room is a little bit better though. This room could use some cleaning. Uh, Minyaka, before you go to bed, can you go ahead and clean this bedroom? Thank you. This bedroom is filthy. Much better. And of course, as winter time sets in, we're gonna have more time to catch up on tasks such as research and crafting. So hopefully <laughs> we won't be so behind uh, on our cleaning and hauling schedule. We can see there's tons of stuff to haul and tons of stuff that still needs to get cleaned as well. I don't think Minyaka has much to do besides construction um, and childcare. So hopefully, um, and any spare moment Minyaka has will be used to complete hauling jobs, um, such as refueling these passive coolers. It's not too warm outside. It's only 74. We might be through the worst of the summer. I think so. It's already the 11th of Jugas. Summer's almost over. All right. Hopefully, we might get some more quests today. Tronka, before you cook these meals, I need you to clean this room. Then you can continue cooking. If you cook in a dirty kitchen, you're going to get food poisoning. And it'll be all your fault. How is Jay's withdrawal? 42% withdrawal, 43% withdrawal. All right. Looks like the smoke leaf and the alcohol withdrawal will be done at around the same time. We're almost halfway through it, so maybe 
two or three more days, and then Jay will be good as new. Um, how are we doing in terms of animals? Looks like we have three grown-up yaks, so we could probably slaughter one. Let's see, who do we want to keep? We have our breeding pair, a 16-year-old female and an 8-year-old male. Then we have a 0-year-old male that is perfect for slaughter. We'll get some extra meat off the back of that. So as we continue to go throughout the day, I need... What is Minyaka doing right now? Building a grave? No, cancel. We already have a grave, apparently, and we can't put the colonist in it. Um, Minyaka, what I need you to do is I need you to prioritize refueling this passive cooler. And then I need you to start cleaning. Honestly, there's just a lot of cleaning to be done. Can you clean the fridge? And then after that, can you clean this, um, this bedroom? That's currently earmarked as our hospital. This room also needs a bad clean, but our colonists just aren't spending a whole lot of time in this room, so I don't think it's as necessary to clean. Perfect. Now this room's only slightly dirty. This room is clean. The kitchen's already very dirty again, so in the morning we're gonna have to have Minyaka clean the kitchen as well, or Tronka. Oh my gosh. If they keep this up, they're gonna have another kid on their hands before too long. I think one of these yaks is a slaughtered yak. Yeah, this is it. We need to haul it into the fridge if we don't want it to spoil. So after Minyaka wakes up, feeds herself and feeds Gorilla, we're gonna have her haul it into the fridge as soon as possible. All right, um, it might be worth collecting some steel as well. The reason being is if we go to temperature, um, creating vents costs steel. Now, this is uh, a mod that I have installed that lets you build over wall vents. Um, I just think it's a little nicer to install your vents over a wall instead of completely replacing the wall. It seems unnecessary to completely replace the wall. Um, so this is just a quality of life thing. It doesn't change the functionality at all, and I think it still costs the same amount of steel. Um, it's just a slightly different configuration of how it works. Um, but what I want to do is I want to build a vent right here so that these two rooms can share the same passive cooler. But we don't have any steel to complete this yet. So we need to look at our map and find some steel. Um, we could of course mine, but I don't think any of our colonists have good mining skills. So I think what's going to be better is to find things that are built out of steel and deconstruct them. Ah, here's some steel. This is exactly what we need. We'll go ahead and deconstruct all of this. We have a royal tribute collector coming to visit. Unfortunately, we don't have any tribute to give that collector. Eventually, we would like to start gaining some royal favor and gaining some royal titles for our colonists. I think that's going to be our quickest road to um, psychic powers. The reason why we are not meditating at our animatry, which is the usual road for psychic powers for um, tribal um, colonists, is that our animatry is really far away. So if we send our colonists to meditate over here, they'll spend like half the day just running there and back. <laughs> and uh, that's not really how we want to be spending our colonists' time. They have a lot of stuff to do and they're very behind on tasks, important tasks such as hauling. So. Um, we really can't afford for that, something like that. So it is morning, and Minyaka is back at it, feeding herself, feeding the baby, and then we're going to have Minyaka get back onto cleaning duty. This colony is in desperate need of some love and attention. All right, so Minyaka, uh, before you start deconstructing all these steel walls, I need you to clean this bedroom. Then I need you to clean this room. Then I need you to try to clean this room. And that'll probably be a full day's worth of work because of how dirty this room is. Oh my gosh. Wow. Vinyaka, you made short work of that. Why don't you clean the kitchen, the pantry while you're at it? Okay, fantastic. 
Now Manyaka is going to go down here and deconstruct some steel. Um, I actually just saw something closer by, so I'm going to cancel this. This is way too far for Manyaka to be running when there's actually steel much closer to the base that I didn't even see. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put all of our steel here. Um, and this should give us enough steel to build that vent. And another thing I think we want to do with our steel is build a fueled stove. It's going to cost us 80 steel, but this will be more efficient with wood instead of just cooking over an open campfire, which is what we're currently doing. Um, we'll have the campfires reserved for just heat generation when, where we need it and when we need it. And we'll use a fueled stove for cooking because it's more efficient with our wood. Let's see. The Empire of God left us a gift. They left us eight medicine. Okay, that is fantastic news. I need you to haul this medicine ASAP, Manyaka. This is very precious gift for us. The next time one of our colonists get infected, this might be the difference between life and death for them. Um, looks like our meat is rotting away in storage because we're not cooking it fast enough. Um, I think Tronka has his hands way too full with uh, growing. So we're going to go ahead and say we're not allowing any more sowing of medicine for the rest of the season. We've got plenty enough herbal medicine here on the ground and here still growing in the ground. That'll last us for a little while. We need to free up Tronka's hands. We're going to not allow sowing in this field either. We've, Tronka's got plenty enough on his hands. Um, we don't need to be adding any more extra work that it's not necessary because we need Tronka cooking as well. I don't think we have any meals left in storage, so Tronka, sorry, you don't get to go to bed. I need you cooking. You can go to bed after you've cooked at least breakfast. Alright. You can go to bed now. We really need Jay back and up and running to complete some of these hauling tasks that are getting going unfinished. Ease the burden for Tronka and Manyaka a little bit. I think this colony is a little bit too big for just two colonists to manage. A couple of our Pakas have gotten the flu. Hopefully um, they'll survive and pull through. Um, what might help the animals is if we go to furniture and we create some animal sleeping spots inside the barn and we set these as medical sleeping spots we don't really need them for non-medical purposes um, but if we have some medical sleeping spots the animals can be moved there and treated there okay Manyaka is sleeping I don't want to push her to a mental break Okay, we're gonna let her eat, we're gonna let her... Okay, she's already tending to the alpacas. That's exactly what we need to do. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, looks like Jay's withdrawal is actually progressing much slower than I anticipated. I anticipated maybe just a couple more days, but it might actually be probably five days at this rate. Um, it's only going a few percent per day, so... Uh, we might be dealing with this for a long time. We already have a rotting thing in our fridge. We don't want this to infect the rest of our food with its decay. So we're going to go ahead and let it rot out here. That is a real shame. We really needed that meat and we dropped the ball. So we need to be better next time. When this yak grows up fully, we'll go ahead and slaughter it. And we will make sure that we butcher it straight away. Okay. Now these two rooms should be sharing the same passive cooler. So hopefully neither of them should get too um, hot and uh, they should both be fine and free from uh, heat stroke. We've got a abandoned child from the Treaty of Guaboa. What's her deal? Does she want to trade? She's 14 years old. She's a pyromaniac. She's good at crafting. Definitely don't, don't want to try to kidnap and recruit her. 
Speaking of, let's check how our relationships are with the world. I know we pissed off one of the factions. Yeah, we pissed off Eastern Nea by kidnapping one of their people. Um, slowly over time, they will reduce back to their natural goodwill of zero. And they will reduce their hostility. Other than that, we still have decent uh, relations with the Pact of Boron, who will probably be our major trade partners for the time being. Once we even get to trade, we still have a long ways to go before we can really send a caravan out and actually trade. Because right now, if we're down even one person, this colony will just crumble to pieces. There's already a huge backlog of things that are not getting done. Let's see how we're doing on steel. We might just, we might just might have enough steel to complete construction of a field stove. So let's go ahead and go ahead and put the order in. We're going to create it here and we'll move it into the kitchen, but we need to deconstruct the campfire first. Um, the abandoned child went ahead and just left us 11 gold. Wow. That is super generous. Um, when our colonists wake up, we're going to go have that, go ahead and have them prioritize hauling that gold to our storage. We have a ton of jade and gold, and I think all of this has just been off the back of visitors, either well-intentioned visitors like, uh, that child or raiders. All right, Chanka, what are we up to? You're feeding rice to alpaca three. Is the alpaca really, um that bad they need to be fed in bed um i need you to haul this gold first and then you can consume a simple meal i promise i won't let you starve all right here we go and what is minyaka up to today minyaka is going to play some hoop stone is this really necessary yeah we'll let her fill up our recreation bar we don't want her having any mental breaks um but minyaka now that you've played a little bit, we need you to get on top of hauling. So I think what I'm going to have you do is prioritize hauling some hay for whatever that was worth. Okay. Now that Minyaka has done some deconstructing, we might just have enough steel to complete this field stove. It's got zero out of 80 steel um, in there. We have 75 steel in storage. Yeah, so we're, we'll be cutting it close. Yep, with the 75 um, steel in storage plus the 10 steel right here, we'll definitely have enough to make this field stove. Minyaka is starting work on it ASAP. Okay, Jay is slowly but surely getting through the withdrawal. Um, poor Jay, poor Jay. What are his needs like? Alcohol withdrawal minus 35, smoke leaf withdrawal minus 20. Jay is just going to have a mental break. It's a dull hospital. Well, that's kind of insulting. At least Jay has extremely low com uh, expectations and it's luxuriantly comfortable. It's just a good wooden bed. Didn't realize that caused a luxuriantly comfortable mood buff, but that's good. Tronka is actually building um, some more apparel because both he and Minyaka have tattered tribal wear. Keep it up, Tronka. All right. Any day now, Gorilla should be turning three and turning into a child, which will be... Um, positive and a negative. The positive is that we won't need to breastfeed the child all the time. So that's taking up a lot of Minyaka's time throughout the day. So that's why she's not able to do much. Um, but on the downside, children are a liability. They can get into dangerous situations. They run all over the map, even when there's like raiders about. And um, children also need to be attended frequently, not for feeding purposes, but for educational purposes. We need to make sure... We are providing Gorilla plenty of opportunities to be well-educated so that we can get the maximum possible um, potential out of him. Okay, Chanka is going to go ahead and hopefully finish this tribal wear. Looks like uh, Chanka already put on some new tribal wear. Let's see. How is this crafting? He, put on, he made a normal plain, plain leather tribal wear. 
Nice. Chanka. Not bad at all. Crafting skills at four. There's a mad stallion. Uh oh. Chanka, where are you? Uh, I need you to go ahead and melee attack this stallion. Minyaka, I need you to go ahead and melee attack this stallion. Oh, this is not the stallion? Who's gonna win this confrontation? Chanka or Minyaka? You might be wondering why I have Chanka meleeing instead of shooting, and that's because I don't want Chanka to accidentally shoot Minyaka. Um, when you have just one target, it's better to just go all in on melee than to do melee and ranged, because there's always the risk that Chanka will shoot Minyaka. And with this recurve bow, they're pretty powerful. Even just one shot can permanently cripple your colonists. So I'd rather take the few bruises on both of them. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Um, looks like Tronka needs some tending because he has a cut and an open cut has the possibility of getting infected. So Minyaka, I need you to clean this room. Okay, now that it's fully clean, I need you to, uh-oh. I was going to say I need you to tend Tronka, but it doesn't look like we're going to get the chance right now. We need to fend off this raid. Okay, can you go ahead and tend Tronka? Like, right now. We need to get this done before the raiders arrive. Okay. Now that you're tended, you're not going to get infected, hopefully. We need you out and ready to defend the colony. Alright, Tronka, can you get off some good shots? Perfect. Come on, Chaka, we need you to be shooting better than that. Perfect. All right, go back to bed. We can attend to the corpse in the morning. Expertly dispatched. I didn't even check this guy's stats, if they would have been worth recruiting. Eh, they're kind of bad at everything. Trigger happy, body pierced, ugly. You're not... Super great traits either. I mean, don't get me wrong. You wouldn't have been a bad colonist. You just wouldn't have been good. Our oh, rice is riding away in storage. Ugh. This is a real shame. All right, it's the 2nd of September. This will probably be our last harvest of rice before winter falls. So we're going to go ahead and harvest this all, replant it, and then um, we will set these field to not allow further sowing. Now, not sure what's going on with Jay. Jay's been in the hospital for a long time. We haven't needed to capture him. Normally colonists will decide whether or not they want to stay or leave before this time, but Jay is staying here for a while. I would have thought he'd decide to leave by now, but you know what? The longer he stays, the greater the chance I think it is for him to agree to you know, be recruited willingly into the colony, so hopefully we'll hold out for that. But I think them wanting to join the colony might have to do with how well we're attending their mood. And since he's going through withdrawal, it's going to have an extremely poor mood, so I don't know if he's going to be really sold on this colony. In the morning, we need to have Tronka prioritize butchering the stallion before it spoils, because we don't want any big waste like this. That yak. That was probably a few meals worth of meat that we just forewent. Alright, Tronka did heal overnight, just as we predicted. Tronka sleeps a lot. Alright, Tronka. Okay, you can go ahead and cook some meals, but what I really need you to do after cooking these four meals is I need you to prioritize butchering. Okay. I need you to prioritize hauling this meat into the fridge. Okay, now you can get back to harvesting your rice if you want. 
What is Minyaka up to? Okay, it looks like we have a fueled stove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there's a way that I can copy these bills into our fueled stove. So cook simple meals forever. These are the simple meals out of uh, meat. Perfect. Campfire. Cook simple meal times four out of anything. We're going to go ahead and paste that. Perfect. So now our bills should look the same for this one. So we can go ahead and set this to deconstruct. Minyaka. Okay, you're feeding the baby. That's fine. Now that you put the baby away, I need you to prioritize deconstructing this. And I need you to prioritize... We need to reinstall this. Here. Can you do that for me, Minyaka? Prioritize working on field stove. Hopefully we kept the bills. We did. Okay, this will be more efficient with our wood. We won't be burning wood unnecessarily when we're not cooking. It only burns the wood when it is cooking. And I think Jay was going to be a shooter and we already happen to have a recurve bow here for him. So that's perfect. How is uh, Minyaka's melee skills coming along? Minyaka is actually a level 8 melee fighter now, which is really good. Um... Tronka is really good at shooting as well and really good at melee. We have really strong combat capabilities between our two colonists. A refugee seeks a home. 75 year old carver named Plorg is calling for nearby. He's being chased by tribespeople from the Blue Skunk Kamba. He begs for safety and offers to join you at Azwar. If you accept, you'll have to fight off the tribespeople on his tail. Two archers for a pigskin colonist named Plorg. I don't think it's worth helping this guy. The risks are too great. We already have a colonist underway and I don't think we really need four adult colonists at the time, at the moment. We don't have bedrooms for everyone because this is going to be the kid's room any day now when the kid grows up to age three. We do want to get more than three, colon three adult colonists, yes, but now is not the time. Slowly but surely, that's how this game operates. All right, so it's morning and Tronka is finally caught up with all of his um, farming capabilities. So I think Tronka is finally doing some um, cooking and hopefully some hauling. I think this will be our last harvest of rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and press F to disallow sowing. So this will be our last harvest. Once we harvest this rice, we're not gonna resow the field. And um, that'll get free up Tronka to do cleaning and hauling and researching, which is all desperately needed. Cooking up all this meat before it spoils, crucially. This rice will last um, a lot longer. Spoils in 17 days, 38 days, 17 days, 39 days, 35. We might even get some of this stuff um, freezing or at the very least refrigerated in the winter. I think it's cool enough outside that we can start untoggling our passive coolers. We don't need to waste the wood on them anymore. Um, I think it's cool enough that our our colonists will be comfortable just as it is. Because pretty soon we're going to have to start um, making some campfires for warmth around the base. Jay's doing well. Okay, we're getting there. Rice is riding away in storage. I knew it. I knew not all of our rice was fresh we still have a lot but I don't I don't know how quickly this is gonna go by a dromedary knight from the pact of Boron is passing by his name is Ralph Humpsbrock does he want to trade he's just passing by he's got decent uh, melee social is really good but we don't want to piss this uh, faction off this is the only faction that's actually has decent relations with us. Chanka is getting a head start on cooking, tending to Jay. And yeah, Chanka is just completing all of his, you know, back responsibilities like um, crafting and researching. That's exactly what we want him to be doing. Minyaka, hopefully, okay, has some steel to haul. 
seems like a waste of her time to come all the way down here for one steal, but she's already done it. It's too late. Can't be undone. Once she hauls the steal, um, actually, I think that's most of the hauling work done around the base, which means she'll start prioritizing cleaning. Fantastic. Uh-oh. We might not get this last harvest in. Apparently, there's a cold snap, so we're going to have a cold fall. Our plants might die, and that might be the end of that. We might have to make do with whatever rice we have stockpiled and whatever hay we have stockpiled already. We've let these trees grow on our pen, too. We're supposed to be on top of keeping this pen free of trees. Um, we don't need herbal medicine growing in here, either. We want only things that our animals can graze on. We've got a boom rat self-tamed. I don't think we want to keep this thing. Let's go ahead and release it to the wild. Better that than uh, slaughter it, because if we slaughter it, it will explode. Okay, yep, all our plants are dying for the cold. It's nine degrees out. Ooh, that is frigid. All right, well, there goes all our hopes of farming this fall. It is now truly winter, but if this cold snap ends early, we won't be able to get another harvest in, so no point in re replanting any of this stuff. I think heel root is one of the few plants that actually survives cold. It doesn't grow in the cold, like its growth rate will be zero, I think, but it doesn't die because of cold. So this might, you know, stay until spring, that's fine. Okay, what is Manyaka up to these days? She's releasing the boom rat to the wild. Okay, she's got a little while to travel. Now Manyaka is going to continue hauling. What is she actually hauling? She's hauling it from one place in the stockpile zone to another? I don't know what the point of that is. But we're getting more alpacable. Hopefully this can make us three parkas this winter. We spent, quite stupidly, a lot of our alpaca while making these armchairs that are not even good in quality. They're poor armchairs. And they probably would have been better spent uh, on parkas. We don't have parkas research yet though, so it just seems a better option. So Manyaka is relaxing socially, but we really need Manyaka to keep the base clean. Hauling wood now. Minyaka is really finding every excuse to not clean that she can. I know it's just by nature of how we have her priority set up. She's set to clean on uh, priority four, so she'll clean before do researching. Um, in fact, we probably don't need her to do any research. Why don't we just have her clean with priority three? Yeah, I think that's better. We'll just have Tronka be our researcher. He's already a level five researcher, so that's not bad. We'll research at decent speed. Won't be great, won't be terrible. Yeah, it looks like he's getting about one research per second. Looks like we have a new quest, Mighty Construction. Divine Chief, I'm not going to pre pretend to even know how to pronounce that name, wants us to build a monument to honor her mother. She will give us a good book that we don't really need, a gene pack that we don't really need, or a hyperweave that we don't really need. Okay, not worth it. All right, and there goes the rest of our plants. They all died due to the cold. Winter's here, and it came early due to a poorly timed cold snap in the fall. Oh, well. I think this is a good time to end the episode. Um, we are all stocked up and ready for winter. We should be getting plenty of research done in the winter. We should keep this uh, this base nice, uh, nice and tidy during the winter since Binyaka will have nothing better to do than to clean the whole base, you know? Instead of spring cleaning, we'll have winter cleaning because springtime is pretty busy with sowing for the sowing the fields. Um, but yeah, things are going well. Um, and uh, next time, hopefully, Gorilla will grow up into a young child. We can recruit Jay into the colony. Jay has frostbite. 
hypothermia extreme. Okay, we'll need to attend to this first thing next time. Building some warm campfires in here so not all of our colonists die. Okay, at least the, the baby doesn't have hypothermia yet. Minyaka does. Tronka does. Okay, this will be our priority. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.